Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to talk about uh, another most important concept in statistical inference, which is called ancillary statistic. The definition of the ancillary statistic is as follows. So, a statistic will call as an ancillary statistic if the distribution of the statistic uh, does not depend on the underlying parameter. In this case, the parameter theta. So, let us consider an example. So, let us say our uh, probability distribution function or probability density function of x given mu. So, our parameter in this case is mu is something like this e to the power uh, negative x minus mu and the uh, interval of mu is from negative infinity to infinity. So, here I am going to prove that the sample variance uh, of the observations which have this distribution is an ancillary statistic. So, the formula of the sample variance is as follows. The formula of the sample variance is as follows. The sample variance is equal to the summation of x i minus x bar squared over n minus 1. So, when you consider this distribution, you can see this distribution is a, a location distribution. So, the location parameter is mu. So, if that is the case, uh, you can do this location transformation. So, you can define this z i, z i is equal to x i minus mu. So, that means what? x i is equal to mu plus z i. In that case, similarly, you can uh, find, uh, you can take the summation of both sides and if you divide both sides by the number of observations, you will get this relationship which is z bar is equal to x bar minus mu which corresponding to what? x bar is equal to uh, mu plus z bar. So, using a simple transformation, you can find the distribution of z because here at the beginning you saw that f x mu is equal to e to the power negative x minus mu. So, if z i is equal to x i minus mu, in that case you can do a simple transformation to find the a PDF of z, so which will be equal to e to the power negative z times the derivative of this term with respect to uh, x which is equal to 1. Okay? So, because of that you can say the probability density function of z is equal to e to the power z. So, this is you can see this is an exponential distribution which the parameter is equal to 1. So, you can see uh, the distribution of z is basically does not depend on mu. So, now you can write this sample variance which is summation of x i minus x bar squared over n minus 1 based on z because x i is equal to what? Mu plus z i and x bar is equal to mu plus z bar. So, you can write this, t this term as follows summation of mu plus z i minus mu minus z bar whole thing squared over n minus 1. So, now you can see this mu and this mu will be cancelled out and you have only um, summation of z i minus z bar squared over n minus 1. So, here you can see this z i and z bar does not depend on mu because uh, earlier we proved that the distribution of z i is exponential 1 which does not depend on mu. So, in that case the distribution of z bar will also does not depend on mu. So, now you can write this sample variance in terms of z's that means the distribution of this this this, uh, uh, this, uh, this value does not depend on mu. So, because of that you can say that sample variance is ancillary on mu. So, in so in that in my next video I am going to tell you uh, how to relate this ancillary statistic with a complete statistic and how to use that in Basu's theorem. 
so if you think this video is useful to you just put a like on my video uh, video and if you want to see more interesting videos like this in future uh, please subscribe my youtube channel thank you